Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. A quiet morning overall. We've got some rainfall in the Mid-South area and also a flood watch in effect until noon. That, again, might be canceled a little bit on the early side as we go into the rest of the day as the chances of rainfall start to kind of fall off by just a little bit. But unfortunately, we still have those rain chances doing a pretty good job of slowing things down on the interstate system and all around the Mid-South. So this morning, not a great day to go rushing around so please keep that in mind if you are going to be traveling out there if you've never joined us before this is our video weather blog weather overtime your opportunity to see what's going on in and around the mid-south area with weather forecasts right into the weekend and beyond and of course we'll update you online as well on our various social media sites or you can go to wreg.com slash weather for more information if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the mid-south or points beyond glad to have everybody with us for this morning netcasting on my Facebook page as well. So thanks a lot to everybody for joining us. Again, drop your location and or any weather reports you have from that location into the comments section and we'll read some of those off as we go throughout the next few minutes, giving you an updated idea as to what's going on here and there across the Mid-South area via your reports. Again, if it's rainy, cloudy, windy, whatever you've got out there, just give us an idea, city, state, location as to where you are and what's going on in your neck of the woods. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we've got the possibility of more rainfall sticking around. And through the rest of the day, continued very mild temperatures. We should be at this time of the year back in the upper 40s to lower 50s. We are going to be just above that going back into around the mid to upper 50s for today, but then cooling off as we go into and around the area of this weekend as some drier air makes its way on through. In the meantime, we've got again some pretty mild numbers out there through the rest of the day today with temperatures well above normal back into the mid to upper 50s, even a few lower 60s not out of the question as we go into the rest of the afternoon and this evening. So again, that's where we could see uh, the potential of some more problems out there with the possibility of more showers coming our way into and around the edge of the forecast again over the next several days. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Southwesterly winds will continue to keep the temperatures up as they did yesterday. 56 degrees our high temperature, well above normal once again, and 47 our low temperature, which was well above where we should be for this time of the year. 33, record high yesterday of 73, last set back in 2000, and a record low of 4 degrees above of zero last set back in 1928 so a decent amount of some colder weather out there chances of rain into and around the area for the rest of the day. Oxford, Mississippi from the University of Memphis campus in the background showing again some wet conditions at the track and field area and 100% humidity at this time. 57 degrees at the Oxford airport in areas of Lafayette County for right now with those overcast skies continuing uh, into the area. Overcast skies on Ranger 2015 Senatobia, Mississippi weather underground web camera. Thank you very much for a cloudy and semi-rainy view there. Not much golf going on at Windy Country Club in southeast Memphis. A lot more rain and some fairly angry skies, but not seeing anything in the way of severe weather, not even any lightning across the Mid-South for this morning, so can't even call these thunderstorms for the time being. 58 degrees from City Hall in Germantown. Southwesterly winds at about 7 miles per hour out there. Judy Freeman from Mariana, Arkansas. Good morning back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, for joining us, and Tunisia Collins from Clarksdale, Mississippi, and happy birthday as well. Thanks for joining us on Weather Overtime for the, today on this very cloudy end to the week and the beginning of the weekend. Not seeing any problems at Memphis International Airport. We've got cloudy skies, but we're also not seeing anything in the way of slowdowns out there. Green airplane icon shows delays of 15 minutes or less, and so far looking good across the rest of the continental United States with little, if anything, showing up in the way of delays out across the area for Friday morning early travel. Now, more volume of travel picking up later on today as a lot of people head home from business or pleasure or anything else out there. So could be seeing some delays, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest. Much improved visibility in downtown Memphis at this time as we did see, again, the possibility of some rain and clouds and fog out there, starting to limit the visibility down to less than a tenth of a mile uh, into the downtown area early on, but not the case right now. We are going to be watching a couple more storm systems back to the well to the west of us 
out toward the Gulf of Alaska. This could be our next systems as we go into the middle to end part of this next upcoming week. The first full week of January could see our next storm systems launching from out here, but for right now, it's not that much of a problem being about a half a continent away from us. Showers across the Gulf Coast heading up into the New England states, across much of the Ohio River Valley, the mid to lower Mississippi Valley, and into around the southeastern United States. Not even picking up that much in the way of thunderstorms for right now. Best possibility of thunderstorms will be from about New Orleans all the way over to Atlanta. We'll see showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but that's going to be about it. In the meantime, the heaviest rainfall just past about 8 o'clock in the morning is showing up into southwest Tennessee, east of the metro, back into around northeastern Mississippi at this time. So we are getting, again, heavier amounts of rainfall into and around those areas, and that's why the National Weather Service has posted a uh, flood watch in effect until noon today. Now, if the rain diminishes enough and moves out a little bit more quickly, we may see a lot of this canceled, but we'll let the National Weather Service make that decision. And if that happens, that'll be coming up later on today. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. Not exactly what you would call flash flooding amounts of rainfall, fractions of an inch, Half an inch, the heaviest in the boot heel of Missouri. Carothersville, Pemiscot County R3 school reporting half an inch exactly. Quarter of an inch and lower across much of the area. Again, that's not much for flash flooding specifically, but that is enough to get the roadways very wet. So definitely want to slow it down across much of the area throughout the rest of the day today and into the rest of the afternoon as more of those showers will be continuing throughout much of the area into this afternoon and this evening. Now much of what we're looking at for right now, again, will be very mild temperatures as those southwesterly winds will be continuing out across the area through the rest of the day. That's going to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit. And notice again that the chances of rain will be diminishing as we go into this afternoon and early this evening, but they are not going to be disappearing entirely. They'll be sticking around right in through rush hour, dinner time, sunset, right in through about News Channel 3 at 10 later on this evening, and then a decent push of dry cold air arrives from the northwest. That's going to clear out most of the rainfall into tomorrow. Now, by early tomorrow morning, pre-sunrise, we might see a little bit of a shower possible into and around the area east of Dyersburg and back to east of Corinth moving away from us. But again, it's going to be minimal. It'll be diminishing, and that should do it for the chances of rain going into the weekend and looking like a pretty nice weekend coming up as we go throughout the rest of the next couple of days. Another chance of rain waiting for us on the other side of the weekend, but not seeing any major problems out there. Severe weather threat, it was a marginal threat south of us earlier today. That is not going to be happening for today. Saturday looks clear, and so does Sunday, so severe weather chances at this time not for the next three days. So that's definitely some good news. We'll have updates again throughout the rest of the morning, so definitely want to stay tuned again for more on that coming up in just a little bit. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures well above normal into the lower 60s, and those rain chances will continue heavier times, lighter others, and back and forth on that throughout the rest of the day, but finally diminishing late tonight. Now, there could be a sprinkle around the areas east of the metro, around the Tennessee River Valley, right around Nashville very early tomorrow morning, and then even that will be heading on out throughout the rest of the day. So looking at clearing skies and much cooler into tomorrow as well. The rest of the weekend looks mild, great for outdoor activities. Again, a sprinkle early in the morning, looking dry throughout Saturday and Sunday, and very nice for outdoor activities all the way on through. So we're just not seeing much in the way of major problems for the Mid-South uh, anytime soon for much of the area. So definitely some good news again for outdoor activities as we go into the first weekend of January. Any signs of winter weather out there anytime soon? Not likely and not on this forecast anytime across the area. So much of what we're seeing for right now is going to be again quite mild. No problems at all in the temperatures. Now again by the time we get some cooler air making its way around this next system giving us that chance of rain coming up as we go toward Tuesday, that's where we see the potential of that colder air coming in, clearing things out just like this weekend will be. And numbers by next Wednesday morning, back in the lower 30s, just below freezing for much of the area. That's about as cold as it gets for the Mid-South. So any chance of winter weather out there, 
just not in the cards for right now over the next several days. In fact, by the time we hit next Friday, more chances of rain coming up Thursday into Friday. And that's also where we start to see the potential of some much more mild temperatures once again. So from the 40s on Wednesday to the 60s on Friday, so quite mild out there all the way on through. And chances of rain looks like they should wrap up before we head into the weekend. So that also not looking too much like a problem out there. So winter weather showing nothing at this time. And again, severe weather also not picking up anything. Now's the time to get ready for the possibilities of severe weather across much of the Mid-South as, again, we head into that prime number one season for severe weather from late January through about early April. This is where we can get the monster storms rolling through here that can cause the most damage and the most danger to Mid-South residents. So now is the time to think about where you would go to to protect yourself at home, at work, at school, anything like that. Now's the time to make certain you are ready to go in case something out there over the next several days does turn severe. We'll keep you up to date on that, so keep it tuned to the weather experts as we keep you advised as to what's going on throughout the course of the next several days and weeks out there. All right, one more check of the forecast into this afternoon. It's pretty quiet out there, so not a lot going on into the rest of the morning. So again, just expecting showers right on in through this afternoon and heading out past work for dinner and a show later on tonight should be just a chance of showers lingering across much of the area and winds will be out of the west southwest so keeping the temperatures up and quite mild into the rest of the day today and into later on this evening so we're just not picking up much again in the way of major amounts of rainfall enough to wet down the roadways and in some of those areas where the flood watch is concerned there might be enough to cause some flash flooding at times but so far no indications of that happening immediately on Friday morning. If that happens, of course, we'll let you know about that throughout the rest of the day. Tim Simpson will have more on your forecast coming up today, starting at first at four. And of course, I'll have your entire weekend forecast coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on Daybreak Saturday and Daybreak Sunday. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in a little bit late. If you'd like to rewind and check all the forecast information, you can do so. Also, we'll be posting this entire weather blog to wreg.com slash weather, where you can pick up again the latest seven to 10 day forecast. Tons of other weather information on there. Our video blog talking about severe weather from this side of the camera. If you've never seen Tornado Alert, Emotional Terror, make certain you take a look at our webcast. It's all available again at wreg.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to ask or anything you'd like to suggest to see on weather overtime, drop me a line at austin.onic.com at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you, and if we can make it a part of this weather blog to keep you coming back and seeing what's going on, we would love to be able to see that. So got any suggestions, got any weather pictures out there, send them along to us. It would be great to see you out there and to send along your photographic work to everybody else across the Mid-South. Again, no severe weather, no winter weather taking place, and just showers across the Mid-South. Updates coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3. And, of course, I'll have your updated forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Todd Demers will be back bright and early on Monday morning. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you to everybody for joining us this morning. And stick around with a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Friday.